So um, I'm against mandating vaccines. They're saying that the spike protein, there's only, the only antigen is the spike protein in the, um, what's it called, in the, the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Right. Yeah, so what, uh, we'll talk about that. That switch is so subtle. Yeah, you don't you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. I work as a pharmacy technician for 21 years, <laughs> so I kind of know my stuff. Pharmacy, pharmacy tech. Pharmacy tech. Uh, I'll pause it right there. Uh, so I I don't know how you kept a straight face, but when you were looking into the camera, it was evident that you were trying so hard to not lose it. Tell us about that moment and how you came up with that idea. So my uh, writing partner, producing partner. Uh, Max, Maximilian Clark, he's in a lot of these videos with me. He and I do these things. And he had the idea, he's like, have him talking to a corn dog. And then we sort of like riffed on it from there. And we thought there's other later videos where we like, you know, like with the one with the trucker rally, it was like, we want to like be referencing the thing that they're talking into. Uh, Cause so we started with the corn dog and then we went to this anti-vax rally in Michigan with a corn on the cob and had them speak into the corn. And what's crazy is that we introduced, we came to this anti-vax rally waving around this corn on the cob and we go, we brought corn for the sheep, those vaccinated sheep, you know, get it? Cause sheep eat corn, sheep don't eat corn. And they were like, oh, of course, because sheep eat corn. And we were like, in our heads, we're like, that's not even like, we just, just uh, um, so we were just like, here's talk to this corn on the cob, talk to this thing. Um, and you know, like we 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 got busted for it enough times where we got sort of a little savvy at you know making it work and you know, just making it be like, oh, what's this? Oh <laughs> silly me. And the woman from that video has actually contacted me multiple times, so upset. And at the same time, I'm like, you know, you you went in front of a, a camera with a microphone. And spread like nasty anti-vax disinformation. Like, do you realize like the dumb stuff that you were saying when I posted it? The comments blew up. They're like, pharmacy technician, that's it's like three months of night school. Like, what mm -hmm. like, this is not you're not a doctor. Like, and she's like, you know, I'm a pharmacy technician, so <laughs> I know a thing or two about a thing or two. And we're like, oh, and that's sort of like the people that you keep meeting, and you're like, you're not. Like if maybe they are, but they're like sort of per peripheral in the anti-vax mm -hmm. movement. Like someone's like a radiologist. You're mm -hmm. like, oh, well, I mean, you're, I'm sure you're great as a radiologist. And I've had like a radiologist tell me like, listen, during quarantine, you know, my uh, radiology thing wasn't that busy. So <laughs> this COVID thing's not real. And I'm like, like, why are you telling people this? That's like patently like, yeah, people dying of COVID didn't need an MRI. Like, oh my God. Right. Like, like, okay, wow, you cracked the case. Like the, oh my yeah, the deep state is, you know, so <laughs> they're behind it. Okay, the whole story behind that actually makes it funnier because clearly somebody who's an expert, a self-proclaimed expert, would be savvy enough to recognize the fact that she was speaking into a corn dog. I, I just that just add that I'm glad you told me that because that adds to it. So we we have to um we have to now go to the trucker convoy because you did that let's, again. Let's do this with a Tim Horton cup. Um, this is now on your tic TikTok. I I hope that you can give us some more details about this. Um, I love this and really keep in mind, viewers, as you know, um, they're talking more and more deeper into the Tim Hortons cup. You know, the, the volume just fades and it just it's so funny. <laughs> so, without further ado, uh, here is the latest greatest hit. We're gonna stand up for our freedoms. Show. Show the government that uh, freedom matters. We're not just gonna give in to tyranny. We see what they're doing. We see what's, our, our eyes are open. Yeah, it, it's pretty obvious what they're doing. I think everyone can see it. You guys need to fight for your freedom because there is an underlining agenda that's going on. I don't know how much you know. I'm not gonna get into that. They do this right in front of us. Yeah, absolutely. And it, they, right think, they think that we can't see what's right. going on. Exactly. Like right in front of us. And like, like we're stupid. But exactly. probably part of it is we were all very complacent. We're awake now. Yeah. We're, our yeah. eyes are open. Our eyes are open and we're <laughs> Okay, you gave them, I have to pause there for a second. You gave them so many opportunities and it just went <laughs> right over there. <laughs> oh, and the best part is like, so there's an activist that was there 
with me, showing me around the whole trucker camp thing and showing me how to navigate this wonderful um, activist, Karima. And she, she's been fantastic. She's been there since the beginning. And she's watching me do this. And she's like, how, how are they not seeing this? Like, you know, they're like speaking into the Tim Hortons cup. They're, uh, they're you know, um, they're speaking to Tim Hortons cup. They're, you know, agreeing to communism as a way to stop socialism and everything. So it, it's like, and she's like, how is this like apparent to like no one but me? Like she's there trying to like try not to crack up and everything. Um, you know, okay. you know what it is. I think that not only have you gotten so good at trolling, you keep a straight face, but you you LARP so well as a conservative. You've got the freedom gear on. You you often will bring like MAGA hat hats. You'll wear the um like the the camouflage. So they don't suspect it. They just think, okay, you're you're one of my people. Let me just do word vomit and tell you all of my insane beliefs, not even, you know, trying to suss out whether or not you're there to troll them. And I feel like some of the times like you're, you're subtle, but you give them enough to where somebody can maybe see the red flags there, yeah. but they never end up, they never end up getting it. I don't think people understand what's happening at the trucker convoy. It's, mm -hmm. it, it is the largest MAGA rally I have ever been to. Explain that because this is one thing that it, I don't it, think people the understand. The city of Ottawa is now a MAGA rally, and we're seeing Confederate flags, the entire, from God, Nazi it, flags. Forget the, forget all that. Forget all that. I mean, those people show up. One or two of them shows up, and those people. Okay, so everyone, all the bad actors, uh, is dismissed by that group as you know infiltrators, Antifa. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, they just any bad behaviors like, well, that wasn't us. Obviously, that was of course just, that was just Antifa. Yeah, of we course. dismiss all of it just outright, outright. Nope. Um, and uh, they like to brag about how peaceful this is. Now, the cops leave them alone. OK, mm -hmm. so what you don't understand. So there's all this there is it is kind of annoying to me. Like I see a lot of these liberal outlets, you know, saying like, oh, like, well, they towed these cars in Ottawa. They, they, you know, took down this part of the, you know, protest. And I'm like, no, no, no. A lot of it's the infrastructure is very much there. They have embedded themselves in Ottawa. And you have these truckers with massive rigs that have, they're not moving. And the law right now is when you're convoying, when it's three or more trucks, uh, you know, convoying, that's when, they can take legal action. They can arrest you, ticket you, heavy fines, all that. Right now, they're idling. And they get one ticket a week for $50 Canadian. Mm. Interesting. The trucker, $50 once every week. That The yes. cops just give them one ticket a, a week. I mean, and these are people that, and they're like, well, we're not blocking the interstate. They're blocking, not the interstate. They're blocking like entire streets. And mm -hmm. they'll be like, four massive rigs like boop 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 like just back to back they're, they're not going anywhere and i remember mm -hmm. like people are sort of making fun of me on twitter i was like i don't really believe this news that things are getting pulled out i was just there yesterday i don't i don't think any of that's happening and they're like you think yeah. that they can't tow like a rig and i'm like yeah you can tow a rig but you you can't tow four of them on each block in a very and these are narrow streets these aren't mm -hmm. like wide open areas like it gets a little you know it, and you're towing a rig that you know and it's not a friendly you know situation and everything so it, it's it's disquieting and you know it's a you know they say it's about vaccine mandates it's maga it's all maga all of them are maga all of them you you just talk to them you know they don't believe the election uh they don't believe Joe wow. Biden's election. A lot of them get their uh, views from uh, there's Rebel News, which is the OAN of Canada. Yep. Um, they know OAN. They know Newsmax. They did this. So on its face, and and on its face, it seems like really like jolly and but but that's because they there's no opposition. They've taken over the city. I mean, if mm -hmm. you wanted to go there and just talk shit and yell at these people, you can do that. But you will be doing that and it be vastly, vastly outnumbered. It's also incredibly cold there. 
I don't know how anyone yeah. would have a fist fight. So if this were the summertime, I think there'd be a lot more fist fights because you'd have a lot of these Canadians getting drunk and definitely fighting. Because um, so I went there with a guy, Anthony Walker. Um, you should follow him. Uh, he does what I do, um, but in Canada. <laughs> so, okay, interesting. Yeah, he was. Hey, he was you know helping me navigate, and he's Canadian and all that. So and he was just saying that he's like, yeah, definitely. He's like, we don't we drink here in Canada, obviously, but you know, we drink a lot less in the winter because we're all very aware of like that you can just die. Um, and it was incredibly cold. There it was a blizzard going on while I'm giving these interviews. Wow. It was like negative degrees. Like after every interview, like I I would be like, you know, like I was like, I'm about to get hypothermia right now. Oh my <laughs> like, god. I could not there with the it. microphone. I was like, I was like, I don't know how I'm getting these interviews. Uh, so. <laughs> the uh the weather is part of the uh resistance and counter protest to these uh yeah. trucker convoys it seems you know it's interesting how you characterize this as basically an extension of maga it feels like over this last couple of years during the pandemic americans have exported our stupidity and it's not like anti-vax movements is something that's unique to the united states it's occurring in europe it's occurring everywhere but the way that canadian hogs have essentially emulated the american tactics and you see the american garb there uh, confederate flags don't tread on me flags it's all it's all really interesting and, and the subtext with all of this is that you know these uh, these truckers if they were indigenous protesters protesting a pipeline um, they would be gone like that. We all know yeah. this. So there, there's absolutely that element there that's so important. And one other thing to keep in mind that a lot of people don't realize is that the overwhelming majority in truckers uh, of truckers in Canada, they don't agree. The biggest truckers union, they disagree. So this is a oh, very that, that small was, vocal they minority. Said that. They said that. Like I'm, So I have an interview that I'm trying to edit that I'm going to upload. I've actually been sort of conflicted as to whether I should upload it because I'm a comedian and I'm not a journalist mm -hmm. and it kind of frustrates me sometimes that you know what I do winds up being journalism and I'm just right. like, I'm just like this is this is ter terrible that our country has reached this level where I'm a journalist because uh, <laughs> I was like I think that's just absurd and so, one of the best journalists honestly <laughs> yeah, so I went into this guy's truck he had been there since the beginning got this whole ass interview with him and now it's like, all right, you know, and he told me and he explained everything um, in terms of like how much gas they go through for idling every day because they have to idle. Um, and he explained how the cops are just doing nothing. Like it's for his words, like the cops will do a show of force, mm. a show of force uh, just to, you know, but mostly they privately tell him we're we're with it. We're on board. Like, interesting. There's even a video circulating Twitter right now showing like a, the cops lining up to shake uh, their hand uh, at the border mm -hmm. and everything. And so it's it's a it's a lot. So yeah, I mean, I have this thing with this, this trucker, um, yeah, where he's explaining just everything in terms of how much they're pay, they're paying in insurance, how much this, how much they get fined every week, um, how they're getting donations. Also, it's pretty weird that the people that are headed the heads of this um they they got eight million dollars and that has not necessarily trickled mm -hmm. down to yeah the truckers um yeah and it is it is very interesting and the cops are are there there's you know provincial there's you know the version of federal and everything um and, it, and it's and it's also here's this is the craziest part I, I'm sorry if I'm mansplaining like anything here and if you already know this, whatever, but like, so I just learned this this weekend. So they, their constitution's different. They have a lot mm -hmm. of very provincial rights. You know, they're talking about the United States states rights, mm -hmm. state rights. So they have, so they're like this the whole campaign. They have all this like, you know, fuck Trudeau things. It's like an F and then the, you know, with the, the maple leaf and then the, the CK and Trudeau. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's everywhere, right? Oh, Trudeau, Trudeau. And this is this is Trudeau's fault. But Trudeau actually cannot lift their provincial mandates. It is their conservative premier, uh, their governor, that has issued the mandate. Mm. Trudeau cannot override him. Interesting. So I did it, not know this. It, it, yeah. And I'm like, but that that's that's it confirmed what I what I walked in there thinking. I was like, 
I have a feeling this has nothing to do with vaccine mandates. This has everything to do with being a flashpoint for sort of MAGA, hyper-nationalist, fascist stuff. And it's, I mean, it's a very effective way to get everyone together. It looks like it's, you know, this populist labor movement. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I have not once, you know, you know, heard them, you know, talk about, you know, better working conditions for right, labor right. and all that stuff. Better wages, anything like that. Just, and so, it, and to your, to your point, um, original point, you said, you know, that the unions have condemned this and mm -hmm. the trucker basically said, yeah, the unions condemned this because the unions are in bed with the Canadian government. And he's just like, and so it's just dismissed. It's like, well, you know, obviously they're, you know, embedded within this whole deep state thing that's going on. You know, they're just, you know, oh. just, they're just as corrupt because they're on the government payroll and blah, blah, blah. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.